Greetings, my sisters and brothers. For this week, in Jesus' time, it was a very, very tough week for him. As I mentioned recently, we're not entering into this week to be spectators, to watch him go through his passion, death, leading to his resurrection. But we're called to accompany him. And we're very familiar that with Jesus' passion, there was excruciating pain on Good Friday as he was nailed to a cross, as he bled, as he was not able to breathe. True, true physical suffering. But for a moment, as we move towards Friday, let us also think of the emotional pain that Jesus went through. Times of anxiety, not knowing exactly what others would say or do. Also in the Garden of Gethsemane on that Thursday night, he said, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass for me, but not my will, but yours be done. And it was during this week also that he was betrayed by Judas for 30 pieces of silver. He was denied three times by Peter. There was a plot to find him and to kill him, lies, false accusations. There was so much going on behind the scenes, and he certainly felt that sense of aloneness at times, that sense of isolation, and certainly the hatred of other people. So what got him through these moments of challenge and uncertainty? Step by step, as he faced all of these circumstances, he would say, Lord, Father, I trust you. I trust you. And that trust from one event to the next as the week unfolded led him on the cross as he's being crucified. He says, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. I have no power. You are the one who gives me life. Into your hands I place my entire life. My sisters and brothers, may I suggest that we take the example of Jesus as we go through some emotional difficulties at times. It might be something going on in the family or something going on within us, something around us that we can't control and that we worry about. It could be the coronavirus, very much so. What about the future? What about the kids? What about school? What about finances? What about family? What about employment? And the questions go on and on and on. To feel the uncertainty of those questions, to feel the uncertainty of those questions. And like Jesus, to be able to say with trust, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. I trust you. I believe that you will walk with me, you will guide me. I believe that I can trust in such a way that you will bring this cross to new life. Loving God, Lord Jesus, we walk with you this week. And as we walk with you in your challenges and uncertainty and pain, we ask you to help us to identify our own. And like you, Lord Jesus, we pray that we can say from the depths of our hearts, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. As we give over our anxiety and our challenges to you. Amen. God's peace be with you.